When most people develop symptoms possibly related to toxicity or chemical sensitivity, they consult with their medical doctor, not their dentist. And the medical doctor is unlikely to include a patient's old dentistry in a disease workup. This means that the possible connection with adverse exposure to dental materials is likely to be missed. This could be avoided if dentists are discerning in their practice and only use materials that are known in advance to be benign for their patients. So the basics of a more biocompatible dental practice would be avoid toxic materials, test new materials for immune reactivity, remove and replace toxic or reactive materials. The sicker or more reactive a person is, the more important the service is. And while this may be a good standard for treating known chemically sensitive patients, the broader population will also benefit from this precautionary level of care, even if they are not or not aware of being chemically sensitive. Research supports the fact that some patients experiencing ill health can benefit from having their dental metals removed and replaced with an alternative material. A few examples of conditions reportedly improved and or cured as a result of removing dental metal allergens include amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, autoimmune thyroiditis, myalgic encephalomyelitis and chronic fatigue syndrome, dermatitis, fibromyalgia, multiple sclerosis, oral lichen planus, oral lichenoid lesion, orofacial granulomatosis, and other symptoms. For detailed citations to support this information, see the source J. Call, K. Robertson, A. P. Sukel, and A. Just. International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology, Physician Statement Against Dental Mercury Amalgam Fillings for Medical and Dental Practitioners, Dental Students, and Patients. Champions Gate, Florida, IAOMT 2019. The removal of metal implants and devices should only be conducted by a qualified healthcare professional who not only recognizes and appreciates the ill effects of the implant or device, but also takes appropriate precautions to protect the patient and staff from exposure during the removal process. This is because an unsafe removal process of a dental implant or device can cause serious injury to the patient, in addition to the possibility of increased metal exposure. As an example, if dental amalgam fillings are removed unsafely, patients can be exposed to increased levels of mercury. Based on scientific research, the IAOMT has developed recommendations known as the Safe Mercury Amalgam Removal Technique, or SMART, to assist in mitigating the potential negative outcomes of mercury exposure during amalgam removal. The IAOMT also offers education about alternatives to dental amalgam fillings so that the patients can opt for a more biocompatible replacement that is, one that is best suited for the patient based on safety and personal health care needs. It is important to note that many factors can influence whether or not a patient improves after the removal of a metal implant or device. While many patients improve or even recover, there are some who do not. One obvious reason for this is if the patient is still being exposed to the metal or a different allergen or sensitizer through a different implant device or other source. Other sources could include exposure to certain pesticides, solvents, molds, or foods, as well as hormonal imbalances, stress, sedentary lifestyle, and countless other factors. Lifestyle changes such as quitting smoking, treating another health issue, or eliminating foods in the diet might also be necessary. In a most unfortunate circumstance, patients can even have a reaction to the new implant or device Thus, it is critical to select a biocompatible replacement.